Alright, what is going on you guys? It's your boy White Alvin here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. Watch along, whatever you want to call it. And today I'm bringing you guys the combat cast for Homelander and Farrah. You already know the deal. They're going to show off uh, Homelander's moves and his abilities in depth along with Farrah. Alongside, they're going to be doing, uh, showing off the new season, the new invasion season, which I believe is the reptile season, which is pretty... Which is okay, I'll be honest. I, uh, you know, me being a katana man, I would prefer a katana to be the uh, to be the season that uh, that's gonna happen. Uh, but hopefully, her um, they give her a titan battle for her outfit. I, I think I would prefer that instead, instead of you know, like a whole season, you know, instead of the grind the entire season just to get one skin and then have to go back and do a bunch of areas just to do this, uh, just to get the other skin palettes. So, hopefully, it's just a titan battle. Uh, and who knows? Maybe they'll reference some, maybe some nerfs and buffs to some characters. Because I'll be honest, there are some characters that need a nerf, man. <laughs> I'll be honest, okay. I'm only saying this because it just happened to me earlier. I played against the Kenshi. He already know me. I don't like Kenshi to begin with. And I found out. I literally just found out today that during Sento stance, Kenshi's back two is a overhead. Let me, tell that, let, me, let me say that one more time. It's an overhead. It doesn't look like an overhead, but guess what? It's an overhead. And who knows? Maybe there's some of you like, yeah, I already know that. Probably because you play a lot of Kenshi's or you play Kenshi yourself. I don't like Kenshi. Have no, you know, motivation, intuition, whatever the fuck you want to call it to ever play Kenshi. So when I found that out, I, no, I would, I, I think, yeah. Some characters need some nerfs in this game. <laughs> and please, buff Katana. I don't know what you would give her, but... It'd be nice if she had something different. Maybe maybe a little bit more mix-up. I, I would like that personally, but, you know. <laughs> Other than that, I will see you guys relatively soon when the combat cast starts. See you guys in just a moment. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we got going on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest... Hold on, just one second. Combat cast. It was so synchronous. Bam. It was really good. We are very excited to be here. I am Tyler Lansdowne, one of the community managers here at NetherRealm Studios. And I'm Derek Kurtzwick, one of the designers here at NetherRealm Studios. Stephanie Brownback, QA lead at NetherRealm Studios. Hey, you did it. Yay. Yeah. All right, all right. The little shot console on the, uh, on the couch there. <laughs> yep. And we're showing Farrah as well. Maybe a little bit Bringing shorter. Bringing to your home. Yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit of a shorter stream today, but we're very excited to show you this character because she is great and has so much fun just to play. Lasers! Lasers and, and flight and everything. But before we can do that, um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this the, the uh, trailer already. Yeah, but, but if, if not, you live under a rock. Here it is right now. <laughs> yeah, people, you just called John a, a, a Neanderthal. Or Neanderthal, if you want to be that guy. Here we go, man. I can't wait to see that. That, that they gave me, they gave me back my fucking low gunshot from RoboCop, bro. It's like, it's like. Robocop looked at Homelander and said, use this move. <laughs> That's essentially what they did. They gave that to Homelander. I'm so hyped for it. Because now I don't have to trade any... I don't have to trade fucking uh, uh, projectiles like I did with uh, Katana. Fight. So I do wonder, uh, how fast the start? Because I know in uh, MK11, the low gunshot for Robocop was actually pretty quick. and a pretty fast start up to it. So who knows? We'll see. Mm, mm. That'll get ratings. You know, I was watching some clips on Homelander, and I gotta say, man, the guy that they got to do the impersonation for uh, Anthony Starr, he's doing pretty well, man. He he almost has that like same like cadence that uh the Anthony Starr has, so. You know, good good shit for them for doing that. Especially at like the sticks and stones part that he says to Katana. Like when you listen to him say that in the show, you're like, wow, that sounds exactly like in the game. Even though it's not Anthony, you know? Look at that, dude. Oh, I'm so high for it. I'm so high for it. The painting game from Pharaoh. Let me make sure this is a little lower. 
low enough for it doesn't destroy my eardrums, but not low enough for you guys can't hear, so. I think that's good. I think the trailer's just a little loud at the current moment. Well, I could just do this. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Finish him. Yeah, up a cut. That's such a good scene, I love it. Fatality. Homelander wins. Tomorrow, man, tomorrow. Hopefully maintenance goes smoothly too. Alright, and then there was one, man. Then there was one. We got Takita. Got Takita. Right, that is Homelander. Uh just the final character of this map pack. Yeah. Map pack? <laughs> I don't know why I have Call of Duty on the brain there. Uh, character packs, I should have said. Combat so, pack. You there like? you go. I, I personally like all of the TV show <laughs> man, map like pack? Damn, when was the last time y'all heard of a map pack, man? From the show into a fight style. I don't think we had map packs since, like, Black Ops 4. That's crazy. Damn. <laughs> crazy. Sorry, I'm still a little like stumbling over. That's crazy. The I said that. Intro is just, it's, it's got to be the weirdest in the best way possible facial capture stuff we've done in this game. Yeah, well, my the phone is on though. Tongue part. <laughs> so good. Really cool. Um, so that was Homelander. We will be showing Homelander later. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about a few things that are uh, uh, coming up. So, Derek, I'd like to start with you. Sup, sup, sup. Could you discuss a little bit about the, the upcoming season? Yeah, of course. Um, So, new season, <laughs> Season of the Reptile. <laughs> reptile is invading this season. Boo. So we got a bunch of reptilian skins. Um, also, we've done some quality of life adjustments and, you know, changes. Um, we have more of the kind of one-off missions. One new kind of one-off mission we have is called Quick Draw which I know Sean Hemrick will love. Um, and then also, you can turn around on pathways now. So, hey, if you didn't want to go that way, you can turn around now. We, sure. <laughs> we've we increased uh, inventory okay. space that makes sense. for relics and for uh, talismans. Thank so God. A lot of fun relics. And like last season, you know, I had problems myself being like, man, which one am I going to have to get rid of? Because I really like this one. But I use primarily like the free combo breakers one because I, I love that. I one. mean, to be honest, the relics in um, invasion. Some of them like there's like the one that's really good, and then the rest are just trash. So when you walk up to an encounter, it'll tell you if your character is an advantage or disadvantage for this fight based on their elemental type. Maybe want to pull something. Okay, I can see that. To, to do that Absolutely, yeah. totally. Um, and then in addition to that, we also are letting you preview the rewards to mini bosses and major bosses because you'll be like, oh, what am I going to get from this? And mm, okay. the seasonal tower, too, you can see what uh, skin you're working towards, how many completions it is, and things oh, of that nice. nature. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we've, you know, we've been listening. And that's nice. And there's a couple other, you know, goofy one-off things. Uh, we'll have the free trial tower, of course, for Homelander and for Pharah. And this season's Titan may be my favorite of all time. It's mine, too. It's yeah. very, very funny. And, Say it. Um, yeah, and that's about it. We've got little Shao here, too. What's the Titan battle? To support us today. Shao, very supportive. Wait, they're talking about, like, very reptile Titan so battle in the invasions, or, like, an actual... So, um, what's yeah, it called? That's what we've got coming for invasion. Sounds great. Mm. Um, like, the ones that do at the end. Like, in the middle. Sort of, uh, like, character balance things this time around, because we right. are kind of... We're barreling towards Final Combat. Yeah. Which is in Toronto this year. I will be there. I'm very excited to, nice. to see everyone. Um, Bring me back a poppers. I will do that. Okay. Uh, 14th to the 16th of June, and then it's also the last chance qualifier there, and the last time to sign up for that is June the 10th. Woo! So, and if you're in the area of Toronto, sign up and, and come come see us. It's gonna be a really good time. Speaking of good times, good times. Yes. Wait, did they say there's, they're not doing any current buffs or uh, uh, balance patch? Recently, a few. Uh, that sucks. Made it out from the studio. Quite a few people from the studio made it out, and uh, 
What a really great time. I want to give a major props to Rick and his team, everyone who puts that thing together. It is a monstrous endeavor, and the building was beautiful and amazing, and it was just a really just a cool vibe. Like, it's always a great electric environment. Yeah. Um, it's always awesome to see all the fans and the people competing. Um, I have to say my highlight personally personally was Sonic's run through losers to like get back into winners. Lower bracket. Lo- sorry, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> um anyway, and then like when he pulled out Omni Man and Mavado. Oh that was a like, uh, combo breaker, right? This combination. Like it, it blew my mind and I, I was I yeah, he went off on uh, yeah, on Justin that in that match. You should watch it; it's really good. Yeah, yeah. For taking the thing, uh, it's I mean just the level of play was a really good match. Bigger, and it's just it's gonna it's it's all gonna come to a head at Final Combat, and I'm super excited to be there for that. And, and those younger kids are getting better and better. They're, they're oh, rising up. I know. Like you watch the modern play, and it's just like they're so. Far all right, so yeah, it looks like there's no balance patch coming tomorrow, which is unfortunate. Cool to watch, and just congratulations, of course, to all of our. Uh, players who were able to come out and play um really incredible the show you put on so thank you so much for that mm-hmm. now that's out of the way we did it we, we got a little more to go there. no i thought we were going to birthday shout out no nope, we're gonna go right to uh we have a new character in the game yeah coming up very shortly uh homelander can you tell everyone what you see homelander is as a character Homelander to me is at his core a pretty basic jack of all trades character they kind of keep you out can get in kind of a brawler and all that but then it's all tied together with his ability to fly and that's what kind of aids his mobility his mix-ups his ability to actually escape stuff like that and i think that's just a really neat kind of factor you know, have this character that's uh, pretty straightforward and simple to play but then you have everything is wrapped up in his ability to fly in a, a really kind of a uh, unique way which we're gonna of course show in the breakdown and we're gonna yep. show fair as well but before fair, let's uh, let's take a look at Homelander. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look at Homelander. I'm super excited. Let's do it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's thank you. Quality. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> so you know, as you'd expect, not exactly a martial artist, but more of a brawler. He just kind of punches you really quickly and really hard. Um, I think his throw really shows his strength. That's what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah. Just fourth wall break. That's good. The cockiness of it is yeah. great. He also has his eye beams, which he uses on his down four, his sweep, and a bunch of his special moves, which we'll get into. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Yeah, he's a big fan of lasers. Looks like, like the down four might not have the farthest reach. Just shows off his personality. Like, it's what are you going to do? Yeah, he is so cocky. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool uh, So let's check out pose. what he normals is back one. So this is his normal that has the most range. It is a high, so you got to look out for down poke. It looks slow. But it has great range, and you can hit him into a combo, and he just shoves you away. Which Effortlessly. Which is pretty good for him as a character to get you out of the way sometimes. It's a great point. Then for mids, he has this forward one, which it doesn't quite have the range of a back one. But, but it looks faster. Yes. It looks a bit faster, which is good. Yes. You want a fast mid in this game? Very I mean, you, you can do it in the office all day long. Uh-huh. <laughs> Especially when that moves you forward. Back 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 3 ends in a throw, where he gouges your eye out, which is... I love the design team really nailed it. This guy fights dirty. Mm. Despite his super strength, he's just nasty about the way he fights. So is he pushing your eyeball in or pulling your eyeball out? I think he's pushing it out and then throwing away the, uh... What a jerk. Little... That'll get yeah. ratings. Oh, nice. Nice. Another normal I'd love to show is forward four, which is this low laser sweep. And you can oh. actually combo off of it. I think that'll be one and of so the best combo forward four is that sweep. That's crazy. And it hits low, which is always great. And then lastly, this normal I think is probably his coolest, is his ear clap. He claps you in the ear. It actually does this cool, like, deafening sound effect. And then it has a neat little bonus where if it's a counter hit, he gets a full combo. Oh, that's cool. And it's like another sort of reference to the show, too, mm-hmm. which I love. Exactly. One of the best scenes from season two, I think. So let's go over his Yeah, the fact moves. that that forward four, I'm sorry, that First forward four is got some trailer. range. Straight beam, mm-hmm. the EX one. Hold on one second. Powerful and knocks you down. Low one, you can use it to go under fireballs, stuff like that. Keep him from advancing forward. An anti air one, it's pretty self explanatory. I'd open the door for my dog, jump, he's just dismantling everything. And they'll regret jumping. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And then he has a sweeping laser, which is very cool. 
The startup is pretty slow, but on hit, you get this big knockback. You can do corner combos, and on block, they're pushed back. So this one is kind of, hey, you're up close. I want to keep you away. It's kind of like uh, Superman's the ones uh, you I have away, and I want to keep you away or keep you contained. Yeah, if you're in the corner, you can do corner combs. Nah, right, son. Corner combs. Good old corner combs. They're, they're back. back. They're yeah, back. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> and uh, also, for people that might be wondering, uh, Homelander's gear piece is his cape, belt, and the shoulder paddy thing. Pauldrons. Oh, the pauldrons. Oh, okay, I kind of called that. <laughs> the pauldrons are going to be changed. All right, so he also has this flight move where he flies up in the air and then comes down looking very, very cocky and regal. If you EX it, it has armor and it knocks them down. So that's kind of his, hey, you're up close, you're pressuring me, get off me move. He literally what is the, What's the off, use of that like, move? Flies up and is just gone. <laughs> then he has this god complex move in the air where he kind of <laughs> That goes was pretty this, sick. Praise me. Yeah, very, very arrogant pose. Regal. And you can go left or right and float, release it at any time. You can land. Or go directly into flight, which we'll talk about. In oh, the a flight! The flight is so sick. And that's a low hitting move when he comes down, little stomp. And then because we don't have an actual flight character flight in the game, we have kind of Sindel and uh, Ermac. They're more floaty than actual dash, flight, which is uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> the glue of his ship. Exactly, yeah. like it, everything ties to. Yeah, so he has a command dash. Okay. Forward, it's a command dash. It's back four two, and from there he has four different options. He has the pop-up you've seen, mm -hmm. where he knocks you up, the gets a combo. He has this me, which is safe on block and mid. You get a knockdown. He has the big old mighty boot, that's boot. plus on block and knocks them down. Of course, that's plus on block. <laughs> the grab, which is actually like a throw. Like it really doesn't need to be, but it's going to be. Run. Which you can do from, like, it's a throw from distance. Right, yeah. so you can go in and do a throw, go in and do, like, if you think they're going to duck block, you can use this mid and get frames, all the different kind of mix-ups you can think of. So he's got all the tools. Pretty much, <laughs> like, his offense is kind of tied to this diabolical dash, which you can also do in the air. Is that what they call it? Slightly different, like, animations. Like, the throw becomes this cool next snap, mm -hmm. where he drops them down. And the back forward one. Damn, he's in the air for a very long up. time. Up. Mm -hmm. And you can do both to like do long combos, which you can see in the trailer and the fight we're going to show after this. Oh yeah, there were some long air combos in that mm. trailer and I was like, that looks nice. His combos are very fun to do too. So then let's talk about flight. At any point, you can get up and flip stance and it'll start floating. And from there you can move around completely. It's full flight. That's you crazy. You can drop down. And he gains. So let's, let's say that one more time, like because it is a different way of getting into the air too. You're Correct. using your flip stance butt and up. Yes, that's right. And from there, he has a couple of new moves. He has down beam. That's gonna be so annoying. He has straight beam, so you can kind of keep them grounded, keep them out of the air, which is exactly what he wants. I mean, Sub Zero can do the cameo is gonna be like his worst nightmare, one. but you know. So you can do stuff like all the different moves. You can do the grab. And you can just land, and you can use it to get in very quickly. You can use it to go past them for mix-ups. He owns and the he can air. Drop down. That's exactly. He and if you look the at air. the rest of his kit, a lot of it is based on keeping you out of the air. So and then he is, he's free. He's just a fully fleshed out body. He exactly. Now, I think one of the coolest things, though, is you can actually use it a lot quicker than you might think. And you can go into his air normals. Here's my favorite example. You'll notice we talked a lot about lows, throws, and all that, but I never oh, said Oh, okay, he's got overhead. some Ermac type Typically, of uh, conversions. really have an overhead. However, air attacks are overheads. So what you can do is go into flight almost instantly and do a jump attack. I'll show you. That's crazy. And that counts as an overhead. Exactly. Now I'll do it very slowly. I wonder if he could do it like Ermac. You know how Ermac can cancel into his float from like stand, like so like stand uh, four two into um into what's it called? Into float or like four four to float? I wonder if he kind of has that. Cancel into a jump attack, which becomes an overhead, and that's going to complement all his mix-ups. So you can mix it up with the four four, the throw. You could not do the jump attack. You could diabolical dash over their head, come down, just land. All the options you can do in the air, you can do this 
on the ground. You can do it in combos and instantly go into flight. Damn, it's instant. To, what, it's from any combo string? That's crazy. In, land if you don't, fake them out, go so for a 50-50. It's, it's interesting, like his ground version, you have to be worried about overhead, but you always have to be worried about overhead because of his flight. Exactly. Because he actually does have overhead, it's just they're, they're gained a different way. Yep, exactly. I think it's a really neat way to do his mobility and his mix-ups all tied around the diabolical dash and the flight. I think um, when you first start playing him, he'll seem, you know, like I said, pretty straightforward, jack of all trades, you know, just kind of a brawler. And you're like, that's cool. His animations are cool. This is all great. When you get into flight, you're like, wow, the hitting these buttons is The little, like, ringing from when he does that move is crazy. really opens up when you start looking into flight. I think it's a ton of fun. A lot of satisfying combos, basically. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he'll really appeal to Obviously, you can up-block all of that stuff, you know, too. Like so you don't have to be really up, scared of it. Obviously, you like can cancel out of it and get them on the ground while they're up-blocking. The but, you know, when if you play against somebody who's, like, very it's comfortable with doing all that stuff, it's, you're going to be you're gonna be uh, countering them all the time with up-block. Exactly. I mean, again, that can just complement his mix-ups, complement, you know, you could have a cameo like you could use for example if you're having does he have 150 health Sonia's square wave mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh the last thing i want to talk about is this fatal blow he can do does fairy give you extra 100 health i just realized that look at that he can do it in flight okay natara could do the same thing where she could uh pop her uh fatal blow while in the air but it's not nothing too special nothing too special there Notarika already did the same thing. And that is home landing. Yep. Soup's nice awesome. Soup's awesome. Soup. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, very He's a cool. nasty guy. Really, really interesting. Just the mobility, the flight. Uh, and home Land Homelander will be with you very soon. But we're not Tomorrow. done yet because we do want to show the new cameo that's coming out later. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited for this one. I was a huge okay, so, okay, Movado took away 100 health. It looks like uh, Ser Serena. Fair is going to be giving you 100 health. Either 100 health or like uh, uh, 50. At the extra 50. Voice. I like her personality. She's great. She's crazy. I love it. has a lot of uh, fun, fun things, and we're going to show them here right Let's now. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so the way she works is very interesting, and it's not like most cameos. You hit R1, and you basically become like Ferator. She controls your movement now. I absolutely love the Tugging walking back. back. She's yeah. in control, yeah. And every button you hit gives you a different classic Ferator move. Like, let's start with one of the most iconic is that neutral jump punch from MKX. I spammed that. I think Can't confirm. Can't every Ferator player did. <laughs> there was no reason not to. Right. Standing one becomes this big wind-up punch. It's a mid-combo starter. It comes a, covers a good amount of distance. It too. does. Two becomes an overhead. Cool. So there's an, there's an overhead. Another there's mix. Well, there's my mix-up with Katana right that's there. That's standing. right. There you go. Three becomes my favorite, the bowling ball slide. Mm -hmm. Just rolls her out. I love how you're throwing her around, and she just seems to like it. Yeah, it's and, crazy. And do keep in mind, we do have the uh, cameo meter on full. Yes, these so. moves would drain, but so I'm not having to reset it yeah. nonstop, uh, we're showing you. And then she also has a throw. Like, she has a normal cameo throw, like in the neutral, but when she's on your back, you get a throw. Mm, okay. So, throw. right, you have throws, overheads, flows combo starters, a tremendous jump attack. But what if I said that's not all she can do? Oh, what else is there, Steph? Pain and gain is back. Hey. She stabs you. She can do it up to twice. You gain a damage buff. And then armor when she's stabbing you. So that's something you can use if you don't kill yourself on accident, <laughs> but... We've seen before. Yeah. <laughs> I had an Omni-Man player armor, kill himself uh, using Movado on me. It was a funny... And I ended up winning the match because of that. It was funny. My favorite thing about her instead of jumping on your back she can do peanut gallery where she comes out and cheers for you and if you successfully attack you gain more super meter and you can see what? how exciting she is she is oh she's hyping it up but if you get hit she gets sad and Aww. upset and you lose meter instead nobody wants a sad Farah. yeah she'll literally turn red and kind of pout <laughs> what that's crazy <laughs> Exactly. 
Yep. So, I mean, basically, it's as simple as I said. You hit R1, and you become Ferator from MKX. Ferrolander at this yeah. point. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I, I think she'll be great for, uh, maybe you're playing a character that doesn't have the best mix-ups. Now you do. Uh, awesome combo extensions. And she's just super entertaining to have on the fight. Like, if you just, if you just want someone to give you good vibes and... Support you. Right, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. I like how she tries to keep up with you, too. It's so fun. So awesome. that's Farah. Yo, oh, Farah, okay. Great. Thank you so much. Farah also coming to uh, World Combat 1. Yes. yes. Very exciting. Probably um, in the middle of June, well, I'm I would assume. For the day, but we Except have, for... Uh, that's not even loud enough. That's, I think it's fine. That, that's not even loud enough. The people that's demand right. it being loud. Yeah, cool. Right. We got it, Derek. That's about a, there it is. There that, that, was yes, the yes. that was the one. That was the one. Everyone's favorite part of the show. <sighs> yes. Absolutely. All Not right. mine. Birthday shout outs. Um, and remember, help me with that. Okay. All right. Happy birthday to Molly the Cat, <laughs> Brett Beeling, Corey Taylor, Hector Sanchez, um, Chevy. The Hulk singer from Slipknot? Corey. Jan what Mann the hell? Anderson. Uh, no, but Farrah looks sick, man. She looks really Chris sick. Chapman, I think that might be the mix-up I need with a Matt katana. Erickson, Cole Krasbowski. Did I get that right? Sure. Okay, let's go with it. Uh, Bob Perry, Carly Gemmel, Joshua Gutierrez, or The Gooey, as we like to call him, Joe Berger, Andrew Richmond. I thought I was going to say Joe Biden. That would have been crazy. You already got Corey Taylor. Why not throw in Joe Biden John while we're at it? <laughs> God damn, how many fucking people uh, are celebrating Lee their birthday Red today? Valens, Royce Woods, and my sisters, Kelly and Gina. Happy birthday. Aww, All right, well, happy nice. birthday to everyone. Uh, that's awesome. And we have... That's it? That, well, not quite. Belt battle. No, not yet. Uh, you, need, you still need to keep practicing. Uh, Me? Yes. Damn. Uh, we do have, after this... Damn. Today ...with the QA fight with yep. Homelander. So you can see him in a real... Damn, real the shade. It was crazy. ...ending like the last time. Uh... But other than that, uh, that has been Homelander and Farah. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have a good time? Yeah. Absolutely. Great. I always love showing off this stuff. Super fun. So we will see you very soon. Uh, until then, this has been the Combat Cast. Thank y'all. Bye. All right, let's get ready for that QA battle. Ooh. Ooh. Kate Mansion. First Omni Man, now you. Bro, this fucking skin from Melina. No, what the fuck? Bro, it's like some like modded skin type shit. What the hell? Shujinko? Ooh, we're gonna see what Shujinko gets from Homelander. Nah, he said nah to that. Yeah, I'm sorry, that skin from Melina is fucking sick. What the hell? I don't play Melina, but that's so sick. I can't tell if Bear gives him more health or not. I think I think Homeland is a, is in a is an eleven hundred health character, kind of like Shao Kahn. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. What does Shujinko get? Let me see what Shujinko gets. Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, that was sick. And that was only half bar? That was half bar. What's the launcher? I bet you that's super negative on block. What's the grab? I oh, could have got a better punish than that, man. Oh. Come on, I want to see the launcher, dude. Right, Melina, you're going off script. <laughs> Homelander needs to win this. <laughs> oh my god, he's got Supergirl combos, dude. He's got Supergirl combos. I don't know if you needed a waste stab, but sure, man. <laughs> I think you gotta finish it off without that. 
Dude, he's got Supergirl combos. Okay, okay. Milots are a lot easier to pull off than Supergirl, because Supergirl, it took some finesse to pull off Supergirl's combos and Injustice too. Is that a high? Oh. <laughs> oh no, that is the launcher. It's like a restand. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, bro, Homelander, dude. He looks so sick. I'm loving this Molina skin, bro. Like, come on, man. Let Katana have that, bro. Fuck Molina, dog. <laughs> oh, the low. The, there it is. There it was. I'm so hyped for it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Oh, the brutality! Damn. Picked a stupid way to die. Brutality. <laughs> Yo, man, Homelander looks sick. Homelander looks sick, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I can't wait to see what Shujinko gets from him. We saw he gets like a, he gets like a, uh, he gets like almost like a semi puppetry. Did you see that? He gets like almost like a semi puppetry, like you do with uh, with like um, with like say Janet, you know. Uh, but it's obviously it's the restand, so that that's a uh, that's pretty sick. So it's like it's almost like a scorpion restand when uh, when Shujinko uses a scorpion's um, uh, spear, his spear, and uh, y'all, dude, the corner combos with fucking Homelander, bro. He's got Supergirl combos, man. He's got Supergirl combos. They look so sick. They look so sick. And that Molina skin. Come on now. I, damn, bro. Like, look, I love Molina. You guys know that from the MK11 days. I absolutely love Molina. I'll be honest, in this game, I hate her. I hate her in this game, bro. She's just so brain dead easy in this game, man. Like, she's so annoying to fight against in this game. But hey, you know what? Let her have it because she was dog shit in MK11. So let, let her let her be somewhat busted in this game, in my opinion. But that skin, wow! They kind of went like they kind of went with um with like what they did with uh, Tanya, what the uh, Brazilian skin that Tanya has, where it's like it's like the like the like the dancer. I, I forgot what they call it. I forgot what the actual name of the skin is called, but they kind of went that direction with the with the Molina skin. It's like almost like a you know, like a K-pop inspired outfit. It's fucking sick. That's such a sick skin, man. I might have to I might have to pick up Molina. I might I might have to pick up Molina, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it for today's video, man. The combat cast I thought was pretty good. It was pretty good today, man. I those Homelander, the Homelander just looks really good. Fair looks really good in that new Molina skin, bro. I know all the Molina fans are happy about that, but us Katana fans, we just gotta, you know, we just gotta, we gotta hold that, man. We gotta hold that. I mean, we got Christmas Claus, Christmas Claus, uh, Mrs. Claus, so I'll take it. Uh, you know, uh, we'll let Molina have it this one. We'll we'll let Molina have this one. But uh, like I said, there we go. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy White Album. I will see you guys with some Homelander next time.